Our next stitch is a simple running suture. This will be the most common suture you'll use to close incisions. It's a simple suture, so again 90 degrees and 90 degrees, same bites on both sides. And you'll start with an instrument tie and try to save length on your suture here. You also want to measure the length of your wound and not, make sure you're not working with such a long suture that it becomes unruly. You'll, take, you'll advance on the wound in symmetric fashion. Again, trying to take 90 degree bites each time. Try to move along at the same pace and same amount each time, almost mimicking a sewing machine. If you move along the same distance each time and take the same bites on each side, you have a beautiful cosmetic closure. People will ask, well, how much do you move along? My answer is, as long as it's the same on both sides, it'll end up looking very nice. So be consistent in your bites. Notice I'm exaggerating my 90 degrees because I want this to evert. I, if I go too far back on the skin or I take too shallow a bite, I'll end up inverting the skin and it won't heal correctly. Notice also I'm just pulling up enough on the suture just so that the skin edges touch. Pulling up on the suture very hard is just ischemic and can cause bad scarring. I'll end it with a simple little bite at the end. Make sure we have enough tension along the incision and then do our instrument tie at the end. And this is a simple running closure.